Hi everyone, here's one of my photos that I just loaded up directly from Lightroom into Photoshop. Before I get started, I want to show you the actual RAW file versus the developed Lightroom file. Anyone who purchases this video will receive the preset that I used exactly for this file. I will also include uh, the RAW file itself, which is something that I would rarely or ever do. So you'll be able to try Lightroom and Photoshop on the exact same file. This video is much more about how I personally edit photos than anything else. So if you want to find out how I achieve what I do in my editing, uh, this is the perfect video for you. This was the traditional way of doing it with the Gaussian blur. I don't do it this way at all. A lot of people still do, I do not. Uh, I find there's a much better way to do the same thing and which is much more precise when I come into the photo and I wanna start uh, editing, especially around edges. So I'm gonna show you the way that I do this. It's gonna be very similar. Now the beauty of this is that I don't have to worry about the color tones or copying, if I start cloning, I don't have to worry about copying one color to the other. That's not going to come over. I'm just copying the skin details. Where I would want the hair to kind of come over and cut. I'm going to leave a few strands sticking out because if I make it too clean, it's going to look very unnatural. So at first, all I'm going to do is create this very quick uh, I'm going to show you one way at first that's a little bit more forgiving uh, for dodge and burn. So what I've done, like I said before, I've made three copies of that same layer that I was that I've already retouched for the skin. Uh, I'm going to create. So what I do at this point, I just kind of create another flat layer of this so far. I'll turn all these off so I can easily just go from the before and after of what I've just done. It's very subtle. So if I go from zero to one, one question I receive a lot is, how do I save my images to make them look so sharp and crisp on Facebook? Uh, do I cheat? What do I do? Facebook compresses images beyond repair quite often. Uh, so I'll show you what I do when I save my images so they lose the least amount of quality possible. First thing I do is... 